Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. I'm Jay and today we're going to take a look at um, a basic Arduino robot platform. Now what this is, is just to get you started to get the, the main part of your robot put together that you would then from there go on to either make a line follower or maybe you want to put a camera on it. Um, use ultrasonic um, avoidance system, uh, put a robot arm on it, whatever you want to do. This is just the basic robot part of it, the platform, and a simple app just to, so you can get it put together and get that part working. And then from there, you can move on to, like I was saying, you know, add a robot arm or put a camera on and whatnot. So the app for this is very basic. And in future episodes that are going to be coming up, um, actually in the next episode, we'll take a look at some more advanced controls for this because this is a very basic setup um, app I got here. And like I said, this is just to get you started, the bare bones to get you started. But uh, we will do in future episodes covering this. Now, the body is 3D printed. Don't worry if you don't have a 3D printer. Um, as soon as they become available, I will have a link in the description below. Actually, it'll be a link to the web page, and from there, you'll be able to order them if you don't have a 3D printer. Otherwise, you can get the files if you know somebody else that has a 3D printer, and you can have them printed out. Uh, everything else, there'll be links to on the website as well. Um, but let's go ahead, and I'll demonstrate it working here, and then we'll go through and take a little closer look at it. Put it up on this block so it doesn't take off the table on me. And I'm going to open, I got here my list picker on my app. And we're using MIT App Inventor for this simple app. Oh, and I need to plug the power in for this. Would help, wouldn't it? I'll try to connect. There we go. As you can see, I got forward, backwards, right and left, and a stop. Hopefully you can see that on the camera there. But it's very basic, um, you know, go forward, go backward, stop, right turn, left turn. And you don't have to hit stop switch. Like I said, this is just basics to get you going. In the next episode, I'm going to be making a more advanced, um, some more advanced controls. In one episode, we'll take a look at a more advanced app for controlling this, controlling speed and whatnot. And then we'll also, after that, we'll take a look at making our own little remote control with joysticks for operating this. But all right, this app to try this out can be found. Um, once again, look in the in the description below, you'll find a link to this project's webpage. The app is on there. The Arduino code is on there. Parts list is on there. Um, the files for the, um, the, the robot platform base is on there. Uh, and once they are available on a website, I'm setting up to, I'm going to be printing these out and selling them myself. Once that's up, you'll find a link there to purchase one of these if you do not um, have a 3D printer. And these will be about in the price range as those yellow ones that you can get on eBay that uh, I think they're kind of flimsy compared to this. So, all right. So what we have operating this is, of course, we've got the 3D printed robot base. And I've got another one here. This was one that I printed out before the final just to check it. It has almost no infill. So if I pried on it, it would snap. Don't worry, these ones are not as flimsy as this one. But they got the holes and the notch stuff there, so the motors will bolt right in. And also, if you don't like the little pockets I have for the stuff to fit in, you can flip it upside down. You'll have a little more clearance as well underneath, and then you can go ahead and just mount things wherever you want. But the way I have it set up here, you don't have to have things glued down, um, and they just kind of hold themselves into place for now. Um, we have our robot wheels. Um, these are found all over on eBay and Amazon. Uh, once again, you'll find links on the project's webpage. Um, for the rear wheel, we're just using a marble caster. There's tons of these that people have designed. Oops. Uh, I found this one in Thingiverse. Um, if I forget to put the link to this particular one, this one actually turned out to be about the perfect height for this. I forget to put the link. Just look on Thingiverse. 
put in marble or yeah marble caster wheel and there's a whole bunch of designs of these but i'll try to remember to put the link for that and that is just super glued like that in the back and if you are worried about you know you're gonna have a lot of weight on there you can print two of them out and put two of them back there and it's just a marble caster works fine for this because this is two wheel drive next we have our uh <coughs> Our, dry, our um, control board for the motors on the H bridge and I'm using the L298N H bridge. These are inexpensive. Once again, I'll have links on the webpage where to get one of these if you don't have one. There are other uh, boards you can use. These are common, inexpensive, and easy to get and lots of different projects use these. So if you're going to be experimenting you know, with your robot, this is a very um, good way to go because it'll leave you lots of options to play with. Uh, then we have um, our half breadboard here. And when I'm finalized, done with this, I can just peel the backing off, stick it down. I can take, put a drop of super glue underneath this. I printed out a little base that fits this. Um, I don't even know if I saved the file. If I did, I'll put it, uh, um, a link to it. Uh, if you wanted to 3D print that as well. And it just allows me to glue this down. Then I have an HCO6 Bluetooth module. You can use an HCO5 or anything similar to that. Um, because the logic level, the uh, Bluetooth module and the Arduino uses, um, the, the Bluetooth module uses 3.3 logic. Arduino uses 5 volt logic. I'm using the logic level converter in here. Very inexpensive. I swear by them. I believe they're better than using voltage dividers. You can if you want to. Um, now, the whole schematic circuit of how to hook this up, yes, once again, look in the description below, click on uh, the link to this project's webpage, and we'll find the schematic diagram of how all this is hooked up on there. I'm using the, for the, the um, Arduino board and Arduino Nano. You can use Pro Mini. Um, for this project, I would not recommend trying to use Uno. You're just not going to have room to put it you would have to start adding like a second story on here to start adding more stuff. I mean, it, it's possible. But by going with the smaller, um, I use the Nano because I'm gonna be programming it all the time and I didn't want to have to um, take with the, um, the Pro Mini and uh, stay, put the pins in there, the, the wires to connect it to the programmer. So I just went this route and I still got some room for connecting a few things. And if need be, um, I could get a smaller, one of those little tiny miniature breadboards. Uh, they're like a quarter the size of one of these. Would also fit next to this so I could get more breadboard room if needed. Uh, let's see here. Then I just got my battery pack and I just had um, an old RC bolt that I got at a garage sale. Um, I don't think it was hard to use. The battery still worked fine. I just got it at the garage sale. It was just a couple of dollars. I wanted... There was two great big motors in it, um, the battery pack, the charger, you know, the electronics out of it. I think I paid like $4 for the thing. It was this big, like three foot long remote control boat. But uh, I'm using, it's around a seven volt battery, which are common, it's rechargeable. I would try to go that way. Otherwise, you know, some battery packs, whatever you can come up with. Um, I pretty much designed the battery compartment in the back for one of these rechargeable batteries. So once again, you know, if everything isn't fitting for you, you can flip it upside down. Or you can also go on eBay and buy one of their platforms. Um, it's using the same electronics. It's just the body it's mounted on is slightly different. You can go ahead and do that as well, or if you already have one. Um, with that, that's everything there is. Um, <laughs> the sketch for this, um, I don't think I really need to go over it. Um, like I said, this is just the basics, getting it put together. Getting it put together so you can make sure it works. The sketch is very well commented. So, I mean, you could even assemble the circuit off from looking at the sketch because I commented all the pen numbers and stuff on there. But once again, I will have the schematic for this available. Um, so that um, it's going to be easy to connect. And I'm not, sorry, I'm not going to make the... Um, the, the APK file for this you can get, the AIA, the modifiable file. Um, I've been getting from several teachers now, students are taking my projects 
And because they're able to get the AIA files, they take my name off the top, put theirs on it, and submit all of my work as theirs. And um, to this date, I know for sure three students that, um, well, it didn't work out very good for them because the teachers um, went online and like, wow, that uh, is 100% identical to his, except you changed one line of code on the app at the top. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me there. So I'm sorry I, I cannot give the, uh, the AIA file out. I know it's basic, but if you're in school, um, come on. You know, if you're supposed to program the, the app yourself, do it. It's not that hard. You're not going to learn anything if you don't. And like I said, this is to get the robot, the base project of it, put together. You'll be able to put it on the floor, uh, drive it around, chase your cat, your dog with it a little bit, and make sure everything works. And then from there, we'll move on. And in the future videos, you'll hear me refer back, you know, this is the basic construction you got to set up. And then from there, we'll move on, like when I do the robot arm or the more advanced apps for controlling this. All right, I think I've went on long enough. One final time, look in the description below. You'll find the link. Everything you can imagine is on there. Links, everything. Um, with that, uh, let's just say, um, if you found this information useful, please give us thumbs up. I appreciate it big time. Um, so I uh, hope to see you here uh, in the future episodes. So well, with that, um, I hope you have a great day and have fun building your Arduino robot.